So throughout this video, I thought I would share a few tips and tricks on moving and all the hacks that I use to move because guys, I have moved so many times and I feel like I've learned a lot over the past few decades of moving. So firstly, I just wanted to talk about a few printables that I downloaded off the internet. I think I got these off Pinterest. I will link them in the description box down below. So this is a moving planner budget and it just kind of keeps you on track. It actually has things like truck rental companies or any moving company that you can log down, whatever things like, for example, we're hiring a removalist truck. We're getting our carpets cleaned. We're doing a few other things that need to be logged down. And this is a great way to add contact details, how much it costs, and just have it all in one place. You could do any printable that has like the same concept. I just think it's a really great way to stay on top of your moving. Okay guys, this is what the garage is looking like right now. There is a lot going on. We have a few boxes that have been packed and some of our new furniture which we haven't unpacked well i've had a little look at this but um this big box here is what we're going to use for the garage and whatever doesn't fit in the box gets chucked out or donated hey you i saw you from the distance hey you can we talk
Okay guys, so we have this big box packed. I'm so happy. It took 15 minutes, which is good because it's just one more box out of the way. I will show you what I've done. I've kept that stuff down there in the tub just because, well, why move storage areas when it's already got a place to store? I'll probably just take that in the car with me. But I have cleared out this shelf. This is the stuff I'll be using for next week's shoot that I need out. So that's why I didn't pack them. I'm going to pack pretty much all of the stuff up there and the table. And I also moved over the furniture onto this side. So... I'm actually going to paint that chair white, so we're taking that with us, and then the other stuff is like stuff that's going. Yeah, so while we're here, I thought I would show you a handy packing hack. So if you get a plastic bag, then what I'm actually going to do is just bag up these clothes on the hangers and then tie these handles around the hangers so they hopefully don't fall off. just because these are quite long dresses and they're very heavy but as you can see I just looped over the plastic bag on each side of the coat hanger and you can kind of tell that the plastic bags holding the dresses there so they're not going to slip off I'm going to do this section now I'll probably have to split it up again just because it is quite heavy and I don't want to like add too much weight to the bag but I'm just gonna continue hanging these up just because there's no point in taking them down with this plastic bag just so the contents doesn't fall out I'm just gonna keep it in the box because I am the laziest mover and like I said previously there's no point in transferring over something when it doesn't need to be so another hack that I have is instead of packing things by categories for example putting all the ornaments together all of like your books pack it by sections in this box we have all our living room things that belong to the buffet so we have our stereo incense that went into the buffet a few books that also were in the drawers of the buffet and a few other like things that belong there that way when we unpack it we aren't searching for things that are in totally different boxes. We can just unpack this box and put it straight back into the buffet and it is so much easier to do it this way. All right guys, so another great packing hack is to actually have a moving planner list. This actually has areas where you can put your room, what number box it is, if it's a priority box or not, and the amount of contents or like whatever contents you have inside the box. So I pretty much know what's in most boxes because I did write it on the outside. But this is a more in-depth um, thing that you can do if you are moving that way. It eliminates confusion and it's just a smoother process. So I recommend doing this before you start packing. Um, I'm just going to go through and do it now. So another hack that I have for you is this moving timeline that I suggest any couple or whoever you live with does. That way you're on the same page. I'm an organizer. Isaac is another story. Okay, so we were just completely on two different pages. Literally, we were just having a discussion before about how much time we have apparently me I'm I'm a planner I'm like no Isaac we don't have much time at all so I got us to sit down and draw up our timeline so these are all the days that we have until we have to give our keys back 
and we've basically allocated jobs for each day. So I'm actually gonna finish packing up our living room just because, well, kind of needs doing and I have a big box allocated for that. I need to take down most, well, all of the paintings. I think I'm gonna leave the clock up until the last minute because it's always handy to have the time. But yeah guys, I just want to show you what the house looks like right now. It looks like a bomb's hit it. I actually have to put the photography stuff away, wash most of it because I like to wash it after each client. But I did have a photo shoot this morning so that is why everything is all out. Guys, so my camera died but I'm onto this box now and there's still a lot going on so I think I might tidy up the area a little bit first So another great hack is to actually get baskets that you have around the house or bins and line them with plastic bags and use them to actually store your contents. For example, we're actually using these for the bathrooms. We also have our content cards here and we're gonna fill them out and yeah, saves on boxes and we already have these in our house. when it comes to packing the kitchen. I feel like a lot of people tend to leave it to the last minute and they get very overwhelmed because it's a much bigger job than what you actually anticipate. So one of my favorite kitchen hacks is to actually get a bucket like this or even a basket or just anything that is kind of like a container but large and pack the kitchen with these instead of using boxes. That way, you have access to pots and pans, but majority of it is packed away. don't break and are very like hardy into bags like these. These are really sturdy bags. I'm going to be putting containers into these and cleaning products. 
Now, another hack, which you've probably heard before because it's so common, is if you think something's gonna leak or you just wanna do it just in case, then actually put cling wrap on the product and then screw the lid on. I'm not gonna bother doing that because frankly, I don't care. I'm pretty easy going. If it spills, I'm just gonna clean it up. Hey guys, so it is the next day and I actually have to make a trip to Bunnings and Woolworths because I have my trusty list here and I have to buy a few things and just organize a few things that involve getting to the shop. <laughs> like if you have anything in a container such as well I have bibs that I'm not going to be using in the next few days or another example is if you have like utensils in a tray then a quick and easy way to pack them instead of transferring them over to a container or like a bag just get yourself some cling wrap and cling wrap around until all the contents are secure but literally guys I know this is probably not the best angle but like that and it keeps everything secure in its place not gonna fall out like it has in the past okay guys let's talk about cleaning walls because i feel like they're the most neglected area when you move all your furniture you realize that man i probably should do a better job in the next house there's scuff marks dirt finger marks you name it there's just a lot of stuff on walls. So over my moving years, I have grown to love these magic eraser sponge things. I'm pretty sure they actually have bicarb soda in. And of course you could get a rag and do it with bicarb soda if you wanted to be a little bit cheaper. But I feel like convenience is a must when you are moving because you have so much to organize, so much to do. And that is why I definitely love these erasers. You seriously just like wet them. Like guys, this is, this is what mine looks like after scrubbing the living room. I'm actually trying to get this pink stuff. I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah. Off the wall. And so far I've gotten one spot off. So yeah, it's really good at getting that off. And I highly recommend it. I think this packet was literally like $4. So pretty cost efficient if you lack convenience. All right guys, so the last hack that I wanted to show you was this super easy hack where you get a Ziploc bag, you put all your screws and bolts in and you tape it to your piece. This is actually our baby gate, but these are the knobs and I don't wanna lose them. And that way it's all in one piece, it's all together, but you can also do this with furniture and anything that you need to take apart. All right guys, well I really hope you enjoyed these hacks, tips and tricks when it comes to moving. I definitely had a lot of fun with this vlog style video and definitely let me know if you did like it in the comments and maybe I'll do a part two. And yeah, with all that said, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.